Hey everybody, today we're gonna to be reacting to Mobile Mechanic Van Tour, 120 grand a year revenue from Ty the Car Guy. Go check Ty the Car Guy out. I'll leave a description, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. What's going on guys? I'm Ty the Car Guy and this is the Van Tour you've all been waiting for. So here we have a all right, let me start by saying I like the intro. It's a creative intro. Mechanics aren't always very creative. That was nice. 2011 Ford Econoline 150. All right, 2011 E150. That's solid right off the rip. Right here is my pack out stack. Here's where I keep all my extensions, ratchets, manual ratchets that you guys never see me use. Mag tray, pack out mag tray. I've heard nothing but good things about the about the packout system. The main thing that concerns me is like how long is it going to last before pieces start breaking off? If you've used the packout system, let me know in the comments down below how you like it. Deep well 3/8 packout sockets and the the reason I love these sockets is cuz they snap into place. And uh, when I take them with me, I don't have to grab them one by one. I could just unclip the packout. And just take it with me. I like that he has a ratchet set that goes with the pack out system. That's that's clever. I personally use the gear wrench sockets. Um, that's what I meant. I like the socket set that goes with the with the Milwaukee kit. And I don't have to worry about rain getting. Does it skip sizes? My OCD cannot stand uh, socket sets that skip sizes. Inside, they're water resistant, and of course I'm not sponsored by Milwaukee. Yes, they should sponsor me. Shout out to Milwaukee. Uh, here is my half inch Harbor Freight sockets. It's a little rough, but it gets the job done. The two that are missing I keep in my box because those are the ones I use the most. Uh, up here I have some Diag tools and if you're hearing noise in the background that is Leandro getting done, uh, getting down and dirty with some brakes. So here miscellaneous extra chrome sockets oil pressure socket uh oil pressure sensor socket some uh, stethoscope extra wiring loctite and uh extra hex bits and torx bits hey for for allen allen bits and torx bits i like the capri the capri kit link in the description down below you get it from amazon i make a small commission if you use my links it means the world to me if you use my links quarter inch miscellaneous uh, hose clamps and if uh, you've been following along just wanted to say we appreciate you guys for all the love and support uh, and to all my haters keep on hating because uh, you guys hate over every little thing this is how yeah all the haters all you do is give people energy it's free energy if you haven't go if you haven't already go and check them out it's tie the car guy how my other box is set up it's gonna be exactly the same literally exactly the same so i have outlines for my tools the right angle impact 3/8 stubby and you can see it even is so he's got all the electric tools uh i have doubts about how often he's using like that right angle impact uh he probably uses that stubby a lot more you don't you probably don't need all the electric tools just buy what you know that you need he's meant to fit so like the 3 8 ratchet and the, the half inch impact wrench, that's probably a good starting point for most people. The batteries in here. Especially the half inch impact. Everybody, even if you're not a mechanic, you should own a half inch impact. Here, uh, extended reach quarter inch ratchet, or sorry, extended reach 3 8 ratchet. My 3 8 short sockets, 3 8 high speed ratchet, and uh, small extension swivel paint marker. And obviously my other extensions are right here. So we have miscellaneous ratchet wrenches, open-ended. Is it part of the packout system? This, you see how he's got his, his ratchet and his extensions on the side right there. I can't tell if he's using like hose clamps that he bolted onto the side of the toolbox or if that's part of the packout system, whatever it is, I'm, I'm digging it. I like that. Locking, uh, needle nose pliers some picks, more adjustable wrenches, hose clamp pliers, hose clamp pliers. Hey, you see these Knipex pliers right there? Yeah, shout out to Knipex, those are the best ever. Pliers. And 
And uh, Leandro's box is simplified. It's not gonna have everything you see in my box. It's hey, you see the best impact wrench in the world, Ayo. As far as wrenches and uh, tools go, but for the most part, the power tools are all the same. Uh, universal locking lug nut set. Hey, you see how he's got that, that rubber cover over his impact wrench? I don't have that, and the side of my impact is completely jacked up. High torque, Milwaukee impact gun. Coming down here, we got some RTP, some tape, extra locking pliers, extra paint markers, and uh, brake caliper tools. And this is the heavy duty drawer. All right, you see that? You see that pry bar right there? That's the Harbor Freight pry bar. And that thing, it's bent. That's what happens with the Harbor Freight, the Pittsburgh pry bars. This is gonna have the uh, pry bar, hammer, pitman arm remover tool, pickle fork, tie rod removal tool, and, uh, locking pliers, and uh, hose clamp lock off tools. And I love these pack outs because they just lock into place. Right here, we have my Pittsburgh two-ton jack. All right, this is the first part where I'm gonna have a small criticism. Most people shouldn't be buying these aluminum floor jacks. Over the years, I bought plenty of these aluminum jacks and they have all failed. None of them have failed catastrophically, but what'll happen is you'll one day you'll go to jack something up and it'll just slowly start sinking down. Versus the Daytona jack, which is also from Harbor Freight, I've never had one fail. So I recommend the Daytona Jack. They're heavier, but they're better. They're more expensive, but they're worth it. A lot of you guys have been asking about that. It is great because it is super light and uh, it does everything I need it to do. Over here is where I keep my rain jacket, my Innova hoodie, shout out to Innova. Hey, I live in Phoenix, Arizona. If it rains, I'm taking the day off. Nova, some jumper cables, light, and uh, other than that, we got some, some wipes, crocodile cloths, fast orange wipes, and uh, usually I keep a yoga mat tucked away in here. Uh, what else? Keep some miscellaneous wood for when cars are a little bit too high for this jack to handle, which is rare but lifted trucks you know they they are a dime and a dozen other than that this is where i keep my gloves some brake clean pb blaster and uh everyday flathead and uh phillips head which should be in there all right let's get down to business so inside the van let's see what we got going on shall we it's not perfect, not finished by any means, but uh, this is where I keep all my extra brake clean, some wipes, bungee cords, miscellaneous nuts and bolt, and miscellaneous th uh, fluids, starter fluid, uh, throttle body cleaner, mass airflow sensor cleaner, and uh, random stuff, random chemicals. This is our parts area, so I keep Hey, I see he's got some TRQ parts. That's an online store. You should probably just buy from AutoZone or O'Reilly or Napa or whatever local store. Don't buy, don't buy parts online. Too, many, too often, the parts that you buy are gonna be wrong. So do you really wanna, do you want, do you wanna buy the incorrect parts from a local store or from an online store? If you buy the wrong parts from a local store, you can just take them right back miscellaneous parts here and here to get the job done this is i guess i'll do this side so this is our parts show and down here we keep all of our all of our cased tools so i guess i should just go one by one and open them up hey before he starts showing us these tools do you really need to carry all these specialty tools? Like he's got a McPherson strut spring compressor set. You probably don't need to carry that with you everywhere. Just, just letting you know, like your, your ball joint tools or any specialty tools like compression tools, uh, compression test tools, you probably don't need to carry that. But I do wanna say Maddox, I've got a couple tools from Maddox, which is a Harbor Freight like premium brand. 
I've had really good luck with Maddox. I've never had anything break from them. I like Maddox. All right. So we got a Maddox uh, McPherson strut spring compressor set. And that's going to look just like that. It's worked great. Hasn't given me any issues. Uh, here. And speaking of, speaking of specialty tools like that, you probably don't need to buy them at all. Like only buy what you know that you need. A tool like that, you can go to AutoZone and you can just you can just rent it. That's what I recommend most people do, even mechanics. Here I have the Quinn. Yep, I got the same uh, one. Electronic torque wrench, which you guys never see me use. Yeah, same dude. I never use that torque wrench. I, it's just it's in the closet right now. It's just where it, it's where it stays. I really only use this on clutch jobs, timing jobs. Ba basically, if if uh, getting the torque wrong is going to be catastrophic, that's when I use a torque wrench, when it has to be very specific. Uh, water pumps, delicate, uh, delicate intake manifolds, and uh, here we have a cheap $20 Amazon brake kit. Be honest with you guys, this one works better than my more expensive Icon professional uh, kit. Yeah, my experience with Icon is that they're shit. Everything I've ever gotten from Icon has not been good at all. As far as brake tools go, if you watch any brake job that I've made an instructional video on, I just take a screwdriver and I hammer it, I hammer it between the brake pad and the rotor, and then I pry it open. But they both, uh, this one, the benefit is, is it's lifetime warranty. And uh, this one. Hey, don't buy your tools based on a warranty. Buy your tools based on how good the tool is. Is magnetic, so that's what that looks like. Now the, uh, the cheap twenty dollar Amazon one is just a backup. We have a tie rod tool, and this is straight from the freight. Shout out to Harbor Freight, served me well. Uh, spline kit that I've yet to use, which should probably be in my box next to my impact gun. impact torque set straight off of Amazon I'm gonna guess that most of these tools he could get by without having them ah, gotta love it we have some triple squares gear wrench belt tensioner tool which I uh, serpentine belt tool which I definitely should give more use to yeah that's what I was just saying he doesn't even use this stuff a lot of the time we'll start putting these back. once again tor uh, Torx bits and Allen bits link in the description below I make a small commission off of those if you use those links oh. it's the only downside to this, uh, cheap than this $20 that $30 kit is that they don't stay in place to the right let's see what we got here hey okay. up here we have a let's see what we got here up here we have a coolant funnel rental tool that I have to return uh, underhood Milwaukee m12 light subco trade Fox umbrella magnetic umbrella you guys might have seen in some of our videos o20 oil miscellaneous filters some coolant uh, smoke machine, axle sockets. <laughs> I wonder how often he uses that smoke machine. I wonder what smoke machine he uses. And this drawer is a kind of a, this shelf's kind of a mess, but uh, we got a battery tester and these are, this is the return shell. This is a cot for long days, maybe late nights. Uh, oil drain station so if I spill some oil I have concrete cleaner works great uh, obviously my drain some oil 
and an empty oil jug just in case I need it. Coming over to this side, we got my lovely wife, Thalia. Uh, we have a M12 air compressor, M M18 Milwaukee fan, auto scanner, zip ties, can never have any zip ties, extra fuses, miscellaneous uh, vacuum hoses. Hey, that looks like a pretty advanced scanner he's got right there. You probably don't need that scanner. Spark plug socket. Shout out to Leandro for picking up a magnetic spark plug set from the freight. This Quinn kit is actually really nice. This one's kind of empty, but keep a marker in there. M12 die grinder, M12 drill, drill bits, uh, hex bits. Once again, guys, you probably don't need all the power tools. Uh, these are for cleaning up gaskets, battery terminals, miscellaneous nuts and bolts and uh, clips. These are for soldering wires, wire cutters, copper o-rings in case uh, new parts don't come with them or I have to need some copper o-rings cotter pins push tabs miscellaneous hex driver bits or uh, miscellaneous self tappers washers some fuel tools for, for removing fuel lines down here is kind of a mess just keep random miscellaneous stuff Show us. This is my oil jug. As you can see, it's half full. Like Every time that. it gets around half full, 60% full, I uh, recycle my oil at AutoZone. Shout out to AutoZone. And same. Yeah, that's a tip right there. Uh, you can recycle your used oil at AutoZone. Same thing over here. This is where we keep gloves. Don't dump it in your backyard. Battery cleaner or brake clean right here, Phillips head, flat head, dead batteries here, rain suit for Leandro, and uh, up here we have one of two tap and die sets, standard and metric, and like I said, everything from here on out is about the same, uh, 3 8 deep socket, pack out kit, over here is my sticker wall, if you guys want to send me stickers, Send me letters, postcards, magnets, whatever you want to send me. I'll feature them on this wall uh, for future videos. I'll open up a P.O. box and link it in the description. Here we have our 2011 Ford E150. It's got 140,000 miles. Since we've gotten it, we've tinted the windows, windshield, and uh, added some security. But y'all don't got to know about that. Shh. All right, guys. So we're up front and started off. We got some Gorilla Grip gloves. Miscellaneous extra gloves, hardy gloves. Got some business cards. And if y'all want to know what my business cards look like, let me block off that number right there. Check that out. And, uh, yep. So I always keep those on hand. Sunscreen. TikTok shop headlamp. Headband light. Yeah. We have my air pads hooked up to a uh, AC mag mag patch, uh, hand sanitizer, chapstick, Tylenol, keys, miscellaneous notepad, pen, the Leas T, my coffee. Down here we have some Diag tools, scanners. We got an Altel scanner, our everyday go-to Nova scanner. We have a TikTok shop fridge that works fantastic for cooling our lunches and our beverages. So, shout out to my lovely wife for making these sandwiches. Bomb. <laughs> Some cold water, as you can see. And over here, uh, we have the Leah stuff. We have a TikTok shop charger that has Type C, iPhone, you. Okay, he said TikTok shop. A, a few too many times 
don't buy things off TikTok. Don't watch TikTok. It's a, it's a waste of your time. It's a Chinese psyop. It's here to make you stupid. Stay off TikTok. USB and another Type C 3 amp output. Keep your kids off TikTok. We don't have Bluetooth in this Johnny Boy, so we use our JBL Flip 5 speaker. Works great. Over here, you're gonna find some scratches and dirt and grease. That's not me, that's how I got the van. And we have Dalia stuff, the GoPro bag, her laptop bag, mm -hmm. some water, some Cheetos. Shout out to the customer for giving us Cheetos. <laughs> and uh, sun visor. Uh, usually this is where I keep my book bag, right here. And uh, this hat. is my hat hook. So I just hang my hats like that. And that's my van tour. Like, comment, and subscribe. Easily the best part about the van tour is my little ratchet wrench, my keychain ratchet wrench. We're gonna be getting some merch for you guys, starting out with some keychain ratchet wrenches. Stay tuned. Okay, that was pretty good. I th I like it. I like it. It's it's that's a pretty solid setup, guys. If you want to take some cues from what this guy's doing, I think that this is a good example of how a molding mechanic can set up his van. I do want to pick at the title a little bit. 120 grand a year revenue. He didn't say 120 grand a year profit. He, this is 120 grand a year revenue. That means after he buys the parts for the job, after he buys any tools or whatever he needs, he's not getting rich off doing this job. If you think that you're gonna get rich being a mechanic of any kind, you're mistaken. So yeah, go check out Ty the Car Guy. He doesn't have like a ton of long form videos. It looks like he's mainly been doing short form videos. Seems like a solid dude. I wish he would have told us what his business was called because I would be judging him based on his Google reviews a lot more than what I see here because you know, on YouTube you can put up whatever kind of, what I, I can show you as much or as little as I wanna show you on YouTube but your Google reviews, they tell the true story. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you wanna buy any of the tools that I use, go use the link in the description below. I make a small commission, it means the world to me if you use my links. Keep an eye up the hill, guys.